I don't want to get involved with you and I really want to get involved with you. And that is really complicated. You have a girlfriend. This is a TV show. I hardly even know you. I, um, I'm just a little concerned about my emotional state. So maybe that reaction is a little bit premature. I've been involved creatively before with somebody that I cared a lot for, and um, I just don't want that kind of thing to play out again. And if the potential is there, I'm not gonna go there because it was really crappy, and I don't want that in my life again. What? Now let's see what kind of a big boy you are. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this off. Wait a minute. You said cops. So what? Did they beat you? Did the cops beat you? Yeah. <laughs> You'd think they'd know better. Just beat the shit out of you, fuck you, and then wave their little badge and everything's scot-free. Did you report them? <laughs> oh no, that's funny. <laughs> that's real funny. What do you think you... What's the deal with Benny? Benny? Yeah. Honestly. Benny's what? Honestly? Yeah. I want to be let on. Oh. <laughs> you, you understand? Oh, right? I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of girl. You understand? I know. I'm sorry. You've been hurt before. I think you may have chemical imbalance, bipolar too. I think this could really account for some of the hypomanic episodes. What, when you're talking about, you're gonna put me on drugs? We need to get you to a psychopharmacologist and get some tests done. You don't wanna be here and you don't belong here. I'm sorry, I can't, I just can't see it right now. I'm just, well, Kathy. It's just everything's in my face right now. It's just, I can't see it. I just. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be sorry, Kathy. I can see it for you. I'm sorry. I can't see it's it. It's okay. You Does don't that have mean to it's see it. It's not gonna happen. No, sweetheart. <laughs> Kathy, listen to me. Sometimes people need to <laughs> see your dreams for you before you can see them yourself. What can we do to end this madness? Revoke all the firings that you did. We're sitting here trying to negotiate terms. You can't just ask for 100% of what you want. Why? I mean, negotiations don't work that way. Why not? I know you've never been in this situation before, usually doing your show in front of the camera, dressed as a puppy dog, but this is the real world. You can't get everything you want. No, it's funny I've been in the workforce for quite some time right. now, sure and I've never had on many these little two people come into some corporation Proxy, that I've worked my for job and is fired everybody. By a fucking threat. Well, I'm I sorry. I was humiliated in front of my fucking boss. How do you and think those people you? who you fired felt when they had to raise their hands like they were? Three of those people are over 58 years old. They've been with this company over 25 years. You gotta know when the expiration date. Some. They go bad a few days before, some you could drink a week after. But you gotta know when your time is up. 